Hello, good people, and welcome to another week of social problems. I figured you would miss my voice by now, so I figured I would give you this little live update straight from the home of Mr. Benji and Mr. Rocky, who is kindly guarding our hard-won stockpile of Kirkland bath tissue. That that's going to be worth like gold in the near future. All right, say goodbye. Anyhow, I wanted to take this opportunity just to give you a verbal update on what is going on, and what I've been doing. Um, I've been enjoying our time off. I've been trying to do seed art, as you can see. I still have a lot of work to do on this, but it's almost morel season, and I'm preparing by making them out of chia seeds and poppy seeds and who knows what will go in the background. So that's been occupying my time. I hope you found something fun to do, or at least uh, something that distracts you from the unfortunate situation we are in. And with that, I'm just going to read you, basically, the announcements I have. Where are you going? Rocky. Oh, well. He's not an announcement cat. Anyhow, what's going on? Well, this week, it's everybody's favorite topic, death and dying. And indeed, we are all future corpses. And while this topic is morbid, I tried my best to keep it enlightening, light, and perhaps even humorous. I hope you enjoy some of the embedded videos I have in there. Likewise, as for readings, check out From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Dowdy. This is a recently published book that's very simple to read, and I would like you to read, or at least requiring you to read, the introduction part. If you would like, you can read on to chapter one about Crestone, Colorado, home of the nation's only open-air funeral pyre. Maybe that's an option that you'll want to consider um, for your body, but very interesting stuff in here. Likewise, check out that article about the positive death movement coming to life. And do you think it's possible that we can have death positivity as a means to live a richer, fuller, happier existence? I think it's an interesting claim for sure. After you do the death and dying material, keep in mind that exam number three is also scheduled for this week. On exam three, the topics will be sex and sexuality, family issues and parenting, of course food, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my dismal attempt at making mozzarella cheese, also the environment, and death and dying. I have also provided you with a list of the readings that are on exam three, and you can find them as well in the announcement that I just sent and at the end of the death and dying lecture notes. Good news with exam three too. Since you may struggle to find a reliable computer with a hardwired internet connection, I have extended the time that it will run to 75 minutes. So please use that extra 15 minutes wisely. Um, also, just in terms of the exam, same format and everything, same rules. You have to take it alone, but you can use your open notes and books or readings. And you just have to be patient to see which ones you got right and wrong, as I won't have that information visible until around 4.30 on Friday. Um, finally, with the exam, although it's scheduled to open at 3 p.m. on Wednesday officially, if I have it up and running and ready to go earlier, I will certainly open it up for you to take earlier as well. Um, finally, in terms of course reminders, keep in mind that the optional extra credit assignment is due by the end of the day on Friday. And there's many films and uh, other things you can watch. But with that, being that's all the uh, updates I have for course content, I also want to take this opportunity to just clarify some things that are going on in the course 
as well as providing you with some resources or um, other film suggestions that you may find enlightening. First and foremost, I looked at that second social opinion survey briefly, the answers that have come in so far, and I will have that information compiled and distributed to you with what people think sometime during this week, maybe towards the end of the week. But keep in mind that I want to do another one of these social opinion survey things, and I would love your suggestions for questions or topics to probe our classes about. So if you can think of anything you want me to ask that would be interesting to see what your peers think about or what they do, just send me an email and I will work it into an awesome anonymous survey poll question thing. Um, additionally, for our remaining course schedule, I uploaded a third version of the schedule to Blackboard. Nothing has really changed in the third version of the schedule, but I organized it in a way where hopefully it is clearer as to what is on exam three versus what is on exam four. Likewise, I also pushed back some of the due dates. So journal four, journal five, and even the final project are all gonna be due a week later than I originally intended. So I'll be updating the uh, Blackboard submission deadlines for those soon but check out that third version of the course schedule for the most recent um, schedule of what is due, including what slides you have to read, what readings you have to do, and of course the assignments. Another thing that I noticed that some people were uh, confused and concerned about is with the lecture slides themselves. Some people may have difficulty transferring or accessing the lecture PowerPoints on their phones or other um, computers or devices that you're using. And this is why I upload two versions of the same um, lecture under the lecture notes. There's the full PowerPoint version, which you can download and open as a PowerPoint file and where you can play the embedded videos or click the links. Um, and that works great if you have PowerPoint. You can also transfer it and open it up with Google Slides. Um, and while the notes or other features of the slides might not transfer, you don't need to worry about it because there are no special hidden notes or anything on the slides. But if all of that is still too complex for you, like maybe your device is giving you a hard time, keep in mind that I also have the PDF version of the lecture slides and if my 2015 cell phone can access the PDF versions, yours can too. Hey, they're knocking over my seed art. Cats love seed art. I learned that. Another thing that I provided you with on Blackboard is something that I titled Resources for Money or something like that. My idea there being that a lot of us are probably out of work or, hey, who is financially well off anyway nowadays? We could all use money. And so I gave you this list of resources that I have used in the past to make some spare change. These are mostly market research studies where you can participate in an online focus group about a new product or sharing your opinions or experiences with something. And they'll pay you anywhere from 50, maybe to a couple hundred dollars for your time. Um, I've done many online focus groups in the past, and I always get paid through these companies that I gave you links through. The caveat here is that this is not a quick way to earn money at all. In fact, like you will probably spend much more time filling out the screening surveys for these online studies than any uh I don't know, than any uh, money that comes your way, like you have to ask yourself, is it worthwhile? But being that we have so much free time now, it probably is. Um, but also in that document called Resources for Money, I gave you some tips on applying for the 2020 census that I will be doing myself starting in early May. So if you get assigned to the Kalamazoo area, hey, maybe we can call each other coworkers. And also in that resources for money document is the best thing about American society 
in my humble opinion, and we call that class action lawsuits. Check it out, and I hope you'll agree that this is a wonderful thing. And by the way, America is number one in class action lawsuits. We even invented the concept. And I think that's all the announcements I have for you now. Oh yeah! This past weekend, Netflix uploaded what I consider to be one of the best documentary series I've ever seen. It's called The Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness or something like that. It's seven parts, so seven hours. I wish it was like 20 hours long because it is just so out there. Um, I could use another word, but you'd probably report me to the administrators. It is just beautiful. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of just bizarre, strange, rude, and perhaps even politically incorrect things. Enjoy. Um, yeah, and with that, I hope you enjoyed this live update, and I hope you are all doing well. The boys are just watching me from the hallway. They probably want food or something. But I'm going to go for a walk because it's not that cold out today. Or maybe I'll use this thing I found at Meyer on clearance. Every man jack, face masks for men. And this is even going to detox my skin. And it's just for men, so don't get any ideas, ladies. Anyhow. I hope you're surviving this social distancing, self-isolation, or what do they call it now, shelter in place rather smoothly. We're going to be talking or at least going over the coronavirus in week 15 of our course, so kind of that final week. And my p idea with that is that hopefully we'll have a lot more information by then, and I think it would work well as a topic on its own for like one day. So we'll get into the nitty-gritty of social problems related to the virus eventually in this course. But keep in mind for this week again, death and dying, exam three, optional extra credit assignments, and then just keep up to date on all these announcements that I'm sending. I hope all is well. I hope you've been washing your hands. And if anybody needs any toilet paper, you can come on down to Kalamazoo. See you later.